browser. This window is me. <laughs> it's a window into your soul, really, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Man, I could just, in theory, never talk to these guys. I'm gonna go to the Nipton Trading Post first. Oh, there's just a person in here. Your name is Boxcars. That's a what is it name. This time? I don't know. I just love it here. What the fuck do you think, asshole? I don't know. The second place was I got to live, but they beat my fucking legs with hammers. I'm fucking crippled. Uh, get it? Okay, you're yelling at me because you're oh, crippled. Boxcar. I don't know that you're crippled. How do Boxcar. I know that you're crippled when I just met you? That's a good point. He's been sitting in the chair this whole time. Kick his chair out from under him. All right. I can spare some medics. Sure. And you're a fucking oh. dream come true, ain't you? How much you gonna get? Also, like, I can give you two doses. Good enough. Hand it over. Wow, bitch. <laughs> right? Yeah, you regret it now. What happened to this town? The Legion happened. What the fuck's it look like? Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick in the first place. The act of going through a so marriage celebration while already walk. married to another person. Yeah, you huh. have two. Interesting. That's why Mormonism is technically illegal play. unless you want to Me and my crew one had life. it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. The rest of them are just had domestic it partners. All worked out with the scumbag mid. That's how they try to pass an awful lot of the time. But they actually get like a marriage license for them from their like weirdo Mormon things, so. We get in position. Next thing like, if you're just like a Mormon that marries one person, everything's fine, but when you marry like seven of them, things are a problem mostly because you're typically marrying a 15 year old. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with bad people. Um, polygamy? Yes. Yes. There's nothing yeah, wrong with it. It's just the problem comes with the fact that everybody that does it seems to want to marry children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mormons. What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's there was a bunch of Mormons who were like, we don't like how the First U.S. is prosecuting us. We're going to move to Canada. And then they moved up here and we started prosecuting them. I guess there's a difference between marriage and sex, though. That is true. Damn, but those went on and like, on and marrying the 15-year-old, okay, it's just a legal thing, but don't fuck them. Yeah, what a weird situation to be in. That goes hand in hand, so... Like, you can, you can marry this child, but you can't have sex with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Him? When his ticket came up, they burned. Yeah, a bunch of those Legion. Don't act like you'd be doing me a favor. I Bye. So, does this man have any good behind him? Uh, no, I don't think so. Like he's not used to it at, at all. Least. No, no. Uh, wait, there's a quest. That what's the quest? I forget. It did just give me a quest. Yeah, I know. Rescue the captives. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't remember if he's actually useful for the quest at all. I think maybe he just gives you the information that there are captive slaves somewhere. I don't think he matters himself. <laughs> Damn right, his head is crippled. <laughs> That's what I'm Wait, it's quest the... failed. Wheel of Fortune? I don't know that one, so. Although, I, I'll agree, like, every time I kill Boxcar, that comes up. Wait, and I go, that okay. actually got rid of booted. Oh, okay. Now, well, yeah, I guess reload. It's not important enough to kill him. We can come We can come back for it. <laughs> That's really satisfying, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> hey, I'm a big piece of shit. All right, well, goodbye to your head. <laughs> going on upstairs it's not like you can go upstairs anymore right so like can I take it <laughs> oh man there was like a bunch of stuff up here bottle caps freaking energy cells stuff those ones are useless though those are actual energy cells though another laser pistol Nuka-Cola pre-war money you're holding out on me my up sister here. talks with like her phone speaker thing. Oh, so everyone in the car can hear me too. 
and I didn't realize that. So I mentioned, like, yeah, I think I was going to see Wonder Woman. And then I hear my niece in the background being like, take me! I'm like, shit. And then she was there. <laughs> Man, this game is a lot more forgiving when it comes to the repair system. Salisbury steak. Really. Squirrel on a stick. It has the exact same effects as a Salisbury steak. That must be a bad steak. Good squirrel? Or a good squirrel. <laughs> Either which way, really. Alright, what's going on in this bathroom? Nothing. Nothing for nobody. Yeah, you don't... Bathrooms you can ignore, really. I mean, that Most was where I found that, uh, really. set of parts for that robot. Yeah, sure. What would happen if I just sniped all of these Caesar's Legion? They would run at you. <laughs> <laughs> and you get fucked up. Although it is possible with the flamer and, like, maybe some well-placed mines or dynamite to kill them all. I've certainly done it before. Hello. All right, what's up? How's it going? I want your hat. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross. Hey, like Volpus and Kulta. They call you that because you got a freaking you uh, fox you going on on your head there. The fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on. I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's legion taught you. Ah, so you subscribe Especially to the use of Kaisar versus Caesar. Hmm. I hate it. Because no one else does it. Then I bid you all Only a few people do. It's weird. Until we meet again. All hail Kaisar. So, like, what, it, it, what if I just killed him right now? Because he seems like story. It wouldn't story important. hurt anything, no. No, you can, you can, you can fuck him up. You'll, you'll probably die, though. Yeah, because there's, like... Five of them, but I'm yeah. just—I was just thinking, like, you can try. Plus, plus the dogs. I didn't even think of the dogs. <laughs> you know what? It's actually hard save this one. I mean, no difference, but all right. I just like to have a recent hard save. Yeah, no difference, but all right. That is a strong dog. Very yeah. strong. Christ! <laughs> oh, you kind of you caught it mid-run though. That was cool. About your face. Well, apparently they're all glitching out a little bit. That's good. And by that I mean oh, you're right. They're stuck Fences. on that fence. Yeah. Oh, this is great. Well, they got guns, but yeah, yeah. Focus on the one with the gun. Good, good. <laughs> Oh, they got in behind me and they got me. They finally figured out how fences work. They figured out you can go around. I think I could do it. If they if they all got stuck, I think I could do it. Oh, it's doable for sure. Use better guns. Like, this is when you pull out the good stuff. I do have a sturdy caravan shotgun. Yeah, that's way better. Just that and the, uh, the flame. I hope I took that. Wait, I killed the dog and they didn't care for like two seconds there. What just happened? <laughs> that was, was long that enough I pack? actually got confused about it, Nick. <laughs> it did take a second, yeah. Okay, okay, hello. Oh, they this figured out how to get around. Forward. They figured out how to get yep. around again. That's a good time for dynamite. I was thinking this. Safety. Yeah, okay, we'll try this again. <laughs> we'll try this one more time. <laughs> that that one guy with the freaking gun, he's just... He's tough. He's really tough. Okay. Let's blow out that dynamite. I'll pay for that, will I? Ah, they figured out fences again very quickly this time. 
The dynamite isn't working. <laughs> you gotta get that same kind of like like it was last time. They were all right in the middle oh! of it. I died on the fence. Yeah, okay, never mind. Apparently the dogs have like no HP, but the men have so much HP. That said, I did die standing, so like I guess that's just like a level up in a sense. Yeah. All right, let's go in here. We've had our fun with that group of people. All I wanted was this hat. Wait, is this a dead child? Nope, but it sure looks like it. I just lost my legs to a mine. That really looked like a child, but I guess it's a woman. Oh, well, there's probably a bed in here. Um... One of the people, I'm looking at this other serial killer I've never heard of, but one of the people he killed was Harry Quinn. Yeah. So close. So close to Harley Quinn. <laughs> it's not, yeah. Like when I first read it, I actually thought I said that. Oh, Man, yeah. Caught these, guys have, these guys have nothing in here. I guess it probably was taken already. Like they probably looted here. I wonder if Michigan has any serial killers. Almost certainly. There's gotta, I know be, there's like, a few things, there's gotta be like at least one. Michigan murderers. Look at that. Look oh, at dog. Dog. Why are you stronger than the dogs that were outside? Well, never mind. You know what? If you shoot you in the base of the head, you don't become as strong. We are gonna take this dog meat, though. Oh, this is just. The Michigan murderers are a highly publicized killing. So it's, a, it's a guy that did it. Hmm. Wait, he's Canadian, though. Born in Windsor. <laughs> I'm Detroit, but come on. <laughs> That's really good. Oh, he's That's... still alive. He's, 60, he's 69. <laughs> it all comes around. <laughs> <Get 80. laughs> a little betrayed. Man, so far I've decapitated three dogs. <laughs> I feel good about myself. I think the problem I have with fighting non-people is that, like, I don't get ammo back from it. Also, like, all of these women, like, have had their heads shaved, and I find that very jarring. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because it begs the question of why more than anything. Oh man, guess what? He got caught in 1969. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most us serial killer in terms of just content. He's killed in Michigan from Canada, 269 so far. This is too relevant to us. <laughs> like, I don't know how, but somehow I feel like this is like a faded event. Wait, killings, victims, one dash seven plus oh. what does that mean so convicted of one in michigan okay. alleged five and then one alleged in california <laughs> so it's one to seven but also plus like we don't know it's all right five, so all right i guess stop talking i guess He doesn't need he has to. He a very large Wikipedia page. His killings speak for him. His one killings. <laughs> but there was apparently some uh, mutilation, so yeah. Although I'm trying to find details on that. Because uh, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Alright, so I've learned that trying to get these dead bodies to have anything on it is a uh, waste of my time. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, now I live to hunt dogs. <laughs> ah, here you go. Oh my god, so many dogs! Alright, oh, found, found, found a good living one. Uh, 20 year old art student from Ann Arbor. Hey, Ann Arbor. Stabbed 25 times. Damn. Yeah, art student from Ann Arbor. Good place. Uh, stabbed 25 times. Um, full of the. Uh, Lungs covered, sure, sure, sure. 
In addition, her slope had been throat slope throat had been her slashed, and her mini mini threat. skirt then tied around her neck. What? I guess he ripped it and then used it to like cover it up for some reason. He like cut it open and then just went. This isn't what I wanted at all. <laughs> her entire lo lower body was remarkably. It was in a remarkably preserved condition, whereas her head, shoulders, and breasts were in advanced state of decomposition, leading That's the pathologist strange. to conclude that her body had been stored in a naturally cool environment with the upper third of her body exposed to natural heat. That's, like, very wow. odd. Yeah, that's weird. Like, for a few reasons, that's weird. <laughs> Yeah, this place is just wrecked. They went to town on this town. Bathroom. Hello. Nobody's here. Once again, I'm alone. I did not take those. Conductor. Eh. Do, 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 do. Oh, there he goes with skirts again. Just another one. <laughs> Place the section of her own skirt into her tra trachea to muffle her screams. Okay, that's actually, like, more normal. <laughs> Which I realize sounds quite strange to say aloud, but that was like a gagging attempt. Yeah, pretty much. Not what she died from, though. She died from being beaten on the head, which will do it. Yeah, that will do it, I would imagine. Several deep lar lacerations? Not lacerations. 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 <laughs> We're tearing a branch off a nearby tree and inserting this instrument right eight inches up her vagina. <sighs> That's right in the cervix. <laughs> 16. Also, Ann Arbor. Hitchhiker. Never be a hitchhiker. But you know what? Ah, it's, she got caught while hitchhiking. It's really weird that, like, hitchhiking was such a way for people to get wrecked. And yet everyone <laughs> did it. Yeah, it's only now that we realize, like, after all these murders rose up, we're like, don't do that. Like, this is a 16-year-old girl hitchhiking. And at this point in history, do I would say it's probably, like, I hesitate to use the word safer, but I mean, nowadays... I think it's getting safer, yeah. Nowadays, Phones it's like, stuff. people are killing each other far less. There's yeah. less serial killers out there. And as as you said, like there are phones and ways to contact people or track people or something. Yeah, and the cars like do all that too. Like if you had a newer newish car. Yeah, it's like I think there's my... um picked up a hitchhiker once. I don't remember though. I was young. You don't really see him too often, so. I saw one once on the side of the road. It was uh it looked like a student. Because they were like they were young and you know they had like the kind of like preppy look about them, and it's like you know what you're probably just uh, trying to get to the next town over, but I'm still not gonna let anyone ever stop for you ever. <laughs> also, it'd been great if I found a bed in here, but I didn't, so now I'm I, um, my hobble. I knew a person legs. that would hitchhike and uh, get rides from truckers, and she would just kind of fuck them. Yeah, that's normal, unfortunately. Yeah, that's why she has uh, HIV. So. I, I thought you were going to say that's why she has VD. That got way worse. <laughs> I also had sex with that person, but that was before all that, so it worked out fine. Jesus. He's an actually crazy person. I'm, like, legitimately happy that I, like, do not have much experience sexually because, like, I just don't ever <laughs> want to be in that situation. She's actually crazy. It's kind of scary sometimes. It's like oh, being now. in, like, a relationship for three years and then it being like four years after that relationship it's just kind of like i haven't had a whole lot of time that i've been concerned with that anyway stop looking at empty foot lockers 
grilled mantis. Well, carton of cigarettes could evaluate value to weight ratio. <laughs> Do they actually? Yeah, I mean, look at them. They, they don't weigh much. They're worth a lot. Carton of cigarettes, man. That's a lot of cigarettes. I do question who is growing cigarettes in the apocalypse, though. Like, who is growing tobacco? Yeah, who is I mean. growing the actual cigarette? Like, they plant the butts <laughs> the in the ground, and then, you know, they water them a little bit. <laughs> but, like, someone must be doing that. Someone must be oh, not people growing are, food. And there, there's they're doing definitely people growing tobacco. But why would there not be is a better question. The cigarettes that you find like in houses though, it's like those have been there since the bomb, right? Those aren't good anymore. I doubt it. Those those do go stale and they go bad. Yeah, but like so. stale doesn't mean you can't smoke it. True. It just means you shouldn't get. smoke it. <laughs> but in fairness, you should probably also just maybe not smoke in the apocalypse. I don't know. I think the apocalypse is the one time it's okay. I think that's the one time you don't want to lessen your health because your health is already going to get lessened. Exactly. It's going through hell. Oh, there it is again. Clothed, another victim clothed only in white blouse and bra which had been pushed around her neck. And had also been stabbed repeatedly in the chest and genitals. Yeah, sounds right. That was just his thing, man. Yeah, that was his thing. I want skirt around neck, and I'm going to stab a lot of genitals. I mean, the pictures of the victims, it's the most 60s looking people of all time. Oh, especially that one. What are you doing with that haircut? You're not your mom. <laughs> Little known fact, like back then, glasses. everybody was actually their own moms and grandfathers. <laughs> Everyone traveled back in time to Roswell and all at the same time. There's like a really big theory in the Rick and Morty community that Rick is just old Morty and he's just traveled back in time. <laughs> and that falls apart when you realize that they've specifically said they're never going to do time travel. Oh, they did? Yeah. Like the There's it or? Yeah. Like in the. Uh, in the garage, right? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's people here, yeah. No, uh, these balls just grew out of the ground. Oh. Maybe people are growing oh. tobacco. <laughs> it's the Hitchhiker's Guide universe. Everything we need is just grown. That was super weird, though, because I was trying to get this <laughs> this star bottle cap. And I can tell, yeah. Just kind <laughs> of growed. <laughs> growed. Growed. Yeah, it was. It was. That was. Take Hydra. Uh, it, it's drugs. It restores your limb wine? condition. Yeah, it, it restores your limb condition, but you might get addicted to it. It doesn't weigh I anything, think. so I can sell it. Though. Yeah, you might as well. Yeah, take it and sell it. All right, but uh, in in the in the garage, there's a box that just says uh, time travel stuff. And yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, never touch that. that box, and that's the ah, joke is that they've shelved time travel. Ah, nice, nice. I can understand why. Yeah. Doesn't really uh doesn't really work all the time because then you gotta deal with retconning. I was this toaster I think they're smart enough. Po yeah, post war toaster. No, but this toaster Wait, say that. I would have said that. No, this toaster looks like Neptur. <laughs> You're right. I could have sworn it said post-war post toaster, though. Like, it was made after the war, because that's how they, they say things, like, pre-war, post-war. Post-war toaster has to be I could have like sworn they were called post-war toasters. It's messing with me now. The posters. <laughs> yeah, the, in my wall. Or in my garage. In the my wall. comes around. In my wall. <laughs> in my garage. Making post-war toasters. Yeah, see? What, who am I, like, in combat with currently? Oh! Oh! Man, I got really confused reading this, like, autopsy report thing, where it said she was strangled to death, and then I kind of misread their, her skull and brain were never found. And I was like, wait, how do you know this? Then? <laughs> but it wasn't actually that. Damn! 
that was a brutal leg shot. I was just aiming to cripple them. In the end, it killed them. Oh, hey, leveled up. Hey, grenade rifle. I think I have a grenade rifle, too. All right, so we're overweight now. What? And possibly wait, okay. Mindful of the fact that the killer returned to his sites, previous sites of murder, possibly in sexual ritual, police theorize that the killer might attempt ritual. to. I know, right? To return to the latest crime scene, so they put a news um, blackout on and then replaced the body with a tailor's mannequin, and then surrounded the gully <laughs> that they found the body in with <laughs> undercover officers. At approximately 2 a.m. the following mor morning, in heavy mist and a heavy, humid thunderstorm, an officer observed a lone man running from the gully. Heavy rain um, prevented the officer from observing the young, young man, and when he tried to radio, the rain made it, like, unintelligible. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> That's really That's, wild. That's so good. <laughs> That's ridiculous, actually. <laughs> it really is. I put a mannequin there. <laughs> <laughs> like, was that necessary, really? Like, I, I like the fact, though, that back. it's just like, he was seen leaving from the area. He got there, looked at the mannequin, and went, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine. She looks down. That's not the woman I killed. <laughs> Run, so Run and gun. Reduces accuracy penalties with one-handed guns and energy weapons while walking or running. Cannibal! Do we take it, Nick? I mean, we're talking about some cannibal stuff I feel, right now. I feel like just because of the fact that, one, cannibalism has somehow pervaded every stream since four years ago. Yeah, true. But we have to, really. It's, it's, it's like it's a requirement. A, it's a sexual ritual. Well, yeah, there we yeah. <laughs> Make, Oh, role-playing, role-playing. <laughs> Your guy <laughs> is Albert Fish. <laughs> should name themselves that. Oh no! Oh no! But we're getting we're getting we also worse. Have to get the mod that allows you to kill children. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it's done. We're gonna take it. And we are getting worse. <laughs>